more. Look at this. They just keep coming. Oh, oh, oh. Go inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get your house down! Let's go! Light him up! Go inside now! Get, inside. Get in the house! Alright, okay. main takeaway here is that Tim Walls, Tampon Tim as he's otherwise called, Kamala Harris's VP running mate, is a tyrant. <laughs> So this video is just now circulating again. I feel like this is one of those things where I'm kind of like, how did I not see this before now? And I'm a little skeptical of it, just just at the onset. I'm like, I, this is such a crazy thing to watch that because I haven't seen it already, I think, oh my gosh, that that's nuts. But also, you know, given the fact that this was in COVID, I, you know, there's so much stuff going on. Maybe it just got lost in the media shuffle, especially in the wake of the whole George Floyd riots uh, all throughout Minnesota. So this is the cops coming down a street enforcing a curfew, which I think was on like day five or day six of the George Floyd riots throughout Minnesota. Somebody, who knows, somebody, either Tim Walls himself or somebody under his direct chain of command, issued a curfew and clearly had to give the directive or instruction for these officers to use paintball guns and just shoot them at people sitting on their porch. Because, you know, that's that was the problem. It was people sitting on their porch that was causing all of the destruction and chaos in Minneapolis. So beside the fact that the dude is willing to, in my opinion, institute tyrannical measures in order to keep people compliant you also have to look at why this might why he might have felt that this was necessary i don't think this is probably necessary in any situation but the reality is that over the course of however many days in minnesota the rioters and looters were running through the streets with no consequences or opposition whatsoever Tim Walls was said to have said, well, you know, adding the National Guard is only going to make things worse. And the problem with that is that it makes scenes like this seem, I don't want to say justifiable, more justifiable. I understand why somebody would have to go to that great length. And I think it's awful, by the way. I'm not condoning it in any way, shape, or form. What I'm saying is that because Tim Walls didn't nip this in the bud. Things got out of control. Clearly, obviously, everybody saw it. Mostly peaceful protests. But because when people started breaking the laws, nothing happened, it escalated to a point where it became so unbearable that this sort of draconian firing paintballs at people sitting on their porches was felt to be necessary by the powers that be, by the powers that be. Tim Walls, because he let his state get so crazy without doing anything, disregarding and ignoring all of the pleas from local municipality leaders, mayors, county supervisors, what have you, because he let all of that go, it got to a point where he felt that this sort of thing, this sort of tyrannical dictatorial thing was necessary. And that is the actual problem. Because the idea to become a tyrant comes from somewhere. The idea that you feel that you need to crunch down this hard control of the people that you're supposed to be leading and governing it comes from somewhere, and in this case, I think his hyper-progressive policies that allow people to run rampant through the streets for however many days before they finally did something about it is what caused this sort of thing. 
and, and I don't know. I don't, who knows? Who knows what happened? I don't know. I think it's probably there's not enough information yet into what happened to that particular family. One of the kids got shot, it felt like, or it sounded like. I don't know if it was just a younger girl or a younger woman and sounded like a kid. Somebody got shot in the growing. Like, there's, there's a lot of things that happened there that I thought were pretty dang bad and a terrible look. And they would have never had to be escalated to that point if you start enforcing the law the second that it's broken. If you enforce the law and set a precedent that you cannot break the law, the second people start breaking the law, then guess what? People will break the law less. I, that's, that's just me. I don't know if that's actually how things work, but if it were me and I saw somebody, let's just say, not have to pay sales tax at the grocery store, whatever it is, at, uh, at the retail store at Target, it's your, uh, your big box retailers. And I saw them get away with it and nothing happened. Well, maybe I'm thinking I can get away with it. And then maybe we go a little further and say, okay, well, what else? What other taxes can we get away with not paying? Okay, well, if we can get away with that, what if we can get away with this? And then, of course, it escalates. That's just, that's just the nature of human beings. It escalates. And if he didn't allow the streets of Minnesota to escalate to the extent that they did, this sort of of, in my opinion, tyrannical, fascist way of enforcing the last vestige of rules would not be necessary.